Tonight, 48 hours in Paris. Home to artists, writers and romantics, Paris promises both style and substance. And to help me shoulder the cultural burden, I'll be joined by comedian, presenter and phenomenon, Mel Giedroyk. <laughs> wow. Together, we will glug green liquid. Oh, did you feel that at the back of your brain? Head? Yeah. Commit culinary clangers. Chef, I need support. And unearth our inner artist. Oh, Shatters has come apart. Oh, hello. Whoa. We're here, but should we have come? We're hurtling to the City of Light in dignified ground-based fashion by taking the Eurostar. We decide to document this unique moment in history by stepping out of it to take pictures of our own faces. No sooner than our media sticks fill to capacity, we arrive. Mel. Yes. We're in Paris. I'm feeling it. Good. I'm feeling Parisian already. Why have you brought me here? Well, Mel. It's a lovely thing and I'm not dissing it, but yes. why? Well, Mel, I'll tell you why. We all know Paris as the Texan city made famous by Wim Wenders' cinematic cri de coeur. But there's actually another Paris closer to home, in a country called France, of all things. This Paris is home to two and a quarter million bods, who in turn jostle with 15 mil tourists a year, making Paris the third most visited city in the world. But none of these saps have mini-broken like we're about to mini-break. This photogenic capital is the birthplace of the bikini, the stethoscope and the pencil sharpener. And for cats who like to keep their arboreal game tight, half of the 470 thou trees in Paris are referenced and measured by order of the mayor of Paris himself. A weekend here in the French capital will cost about £230, but in the interest of excess, we may well spaff even more. So, where are we going, Richard? Do you know? Do you Motel. Know? Yeah. What's it called? That's what it's called. Straight up. Neat. What, the hotel is it's called, called Lotel? It's called Lotel, yeah. 